Hi YouTube, it's Diane again, and I was, this is my 2015 plan video. What I plan on stitching in 2015. So to start with, I am in, going to do the Mirabilia stitch along, and I'm going to do Venetian opulence. I have everything for her. The only thing I will do before January 1st on this pattern, I haven't even opened the pattern yet, um, is I will go around the edge of my fabric with my sewing machine just to make sure it doesn't fray. Other than that, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting to start that piece. I'm kind of excited to start it. The second piece that I definitely am doing in 2015 is my youngest son's uh, birth sampler. It's by Victoria Sampler. The heirloom birth sampler is the design. I'm doing this one on a scroll frame. I haven't got very far. I have done stitching in the hand so long, this is definitely something I have to get used to. But I feel that with all the specialty stitches in this particular pattern, and the hard anger that's at the bottom, and the silk ribbon embroidery that's at the top of the pattern, I need to have it in a frame. And I just did a line here in Alvera Soie, and then here, these are not Algerian eyes, I can't remember the name of the stitch, but I, I haven't got very far on that, but it is. I'm going to like it when it's done. And I love stitching with Alvera Soie silks. It also has a Trebizond. I have not used that before. It looks very similar to um, pearl cotton in how it, in, in, if you just lay them side by side, how the fibers are twisted. That's what it looks like. So I am starting here in the center, as you saw, and I'm going to go down and do the heart anger which is something I haven't done before, so that's new. And then I will go back up. I want to do this last, the silk ribbon, so I don't get it, it doesn't get squished in the frame. And so I haven't, I did silk ribbon embroidery, I tried it years and years and years ago. So I'm going to do it again. And there's a lot of silk roses and some of these um, in, the, in the blue. I can't remember, they call them ribbon flowers. They're not leaves. I thought they were leaves, but they're ribbon flowers. And so there's a lot of cut work in this particular design. It's always scary. And this verse here, uh, during your life we wish you wish for two things. One is roots and the other wings. I think I'm going to change that verse, but I haven't figured out what I want to change it to. But on this stitch here, I'm looking forward to this stitch because it's butterflies. It's really cute. And this one here is called the hem stitch where you cut the threads and then you twist threads together and then you weave this and do that. So that'll be, that'll definitely be something different for me. And, and it, it'll be fun. So that's my second project of the year. My third project, and I showed this on my UFO video, is this one. Um, graduate, this Sorry, no, I'm going the way. I believe my way. Uh, this graduate right here. My I started this when my daughter was graduating from our home school in 2011. Didn't finish it. She is receiving her college degree this year, so I definitely want to finish it this year for her. And so this one, I'm doing it on a Peoria purple. It has a lime green floss and turquoise floss and brown. It only has five or six colors, including a, a specialty. Um, I want to finish this for her for that by June. So that, that one has a deadline. The Mirabilia I want to get done sometime in 2015 as the birth sampler also. And then my other one I have planned is this one, which of course, Teresa, or Teresa Winsler. A lot of critic, a lot of back stitching, a lot of beading. It was interesting because I showed this to my mom. My mom is into cross stitching now. She um, had her hip replaced a couple years ago and has been having some issues. Uh, hopefully, we figured out what needs to be done and it can be done so she doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Thankfully, it's not an infection or anything, but it's been causing her some, some pain. Well, she's picked up cross stitching and she said, Well, when I you sit and cross stitch, I can relax and 
not worry about all this other stuff going on, she actually stitched this piece. And I thought it was kind of funny because she, I pulled it out. She's, oh, I did that piece. And I said, really? Said, so apparently, I thought these were out of print, but apparently they've been reprinted into some kind of booklet form. That's what she has. But um, this one is one that I have everything for now. Um, I got the fabric. The fabric is a stormy gray. It, it, very, it's, it looks like storm clouds. And I think it'll look just fabulous with this piece. So those are my four main pieces. I'm still getting used to the rotating through pieces. Um, it's a new concept for me, although I think it's a good one. Um, I have also been diagnosed with uh, frozen shoulder syndrome, my right shoulder. And um, I have a lot of PT coming in my future for 2015, a lot of physical therapy. So I don't want to do surgery, I want physical therapy. So I don't know how that's going to affect my stitching. But I decided the Mirabilia, the Graduate, and the Birth Sampler. If I can only get those three projects done in 2015, good. I'm ready. I'm, I'm set. The Winter Carousel, if he goes into 2016, that's fine. But I really need, I, I'm in pain a lot with my shoulder, so I need to address it, get it done, figure out what I need to do. So I don't want to lose mobility in my shoulder. But after the um, graduate is done, I want to tackle the Blackwork Save the Stitches Stitch Along. I finally have the fabric. I, I recycle a piece of fabric from the project I know I never do. I don't even have the pattern anymore for that other project. And I'm anxious to use this as my main color instead of the black DMC uh, pearl cotton. This is... Presencia, Finca, and the color is 9435. It goes from bright white to a deep burgundy wine color, and I think it'll look stunning on that project. This will be the frame, the outline of all the boxes. And then for the metallics, I've chosen three treasure braids. PB18, it's a bluish pewter color. Uh, PB51, it's a more of a coppery brown, chocolatey brown metallic. And then PB04, a silver. I think those three will look fabulous on that project. As for like the intricate designs that aren't metallics, I'm just going to take from my stash. And beadwork, I'm just going to take from my stash. So I haven't figured out exactly the numbers, but I'll work on that. So that'll be after the graduate. I want to do that. Um, and I, the piece of fabric I'm going to do it on is this one. It's just a 32 count linen. And again, I, I frogged from the other project. I don't think I know the color of this one. It's, it looks like an off white ivory cream. So that's what I'm going to use for that project. And. Then after the burst sampler is done, I'm going to tackle this one, the White Dragon. By then, I'll have figured out what count I want to put it on and have the fabric. I mean, I have most of the floss. It's the fabric I don't have. Figure out if I want to do it starting from the center of the design out. If I want to start in the upper corner and go down on columns. Um, if I want to have it on a frame, if I want to do it. In stitch in hand. I wanted on one of these hoops that I found. There's so many different options, and I've been looking online for different advice from people on how to do heaven and earth designs. And essentially, you could do whatever you want. But the tip from Amanda, from Mil Mrs. Milky Bar Kid, of test stitching, I think that's definitely going to help me. So I plan on doing some test stitching to figure out what I want to do. And if I don't get those done in 2015, the stitch along, the blackwork stitch along, I'm not part of a group for that. I'm just doing it on my own. And uh, the white dragon, if those go into 2016, fine, fine. Stitching is a, a relaxing thing for me, and I don't want to add any stress. Let me turn the light on here. Um, yeah, there, we have had clouds and clouds and clouds, and I know that November is. 
Minnesota is cloudiest month, but hello, we're in December. Enough already. Can we have a little sun? Okay, off that soapbox. Um, in 2015, I have one of my sons graduating from school, so I have to have all his transcript stuff available. Plus, he's looking at, he's not sure what he wants to do, and, you know, it's hard because you, you're your mom and, and you want to help your kids as much as possible, but an adult needs to make some decisions. It's hard when your relationship changes with your children, but it, it's a good transition. So, um, I have him graduating, and I, my goal is all of my children have a queen size quilt for me. And his, the top is done, I just need to get it to the long armor because I do not hand quilt because God made long armors, in my opinion. Um, so I need to get that done before he graduates in May. And then two of my children are receiving their college degrees this year, my oldest two. And then I need to start planning for homeschooling for the 2015-2016 school year, and I will have a senior. So a senior, a sophomore, a freshman, a seventh grader, sixth grader, fourth grader, second grader, kindergartner, and a pre k who thinks he's older than his kindergarten brother, and we'll have a toddler running, jumping, being all boy. So, yeah, I have enough. Oh, and then one of our sons is getting his full driver's license. We already have five drivers in our house and we have three vehicles, so it gets very interesting. <laughs> we will have six drivers, three vehicles, although our oldest two children, after they uh, get their degrees, they're going to move into their own apartments and stuff, so that'll be hard, too. I'm a mom. I love being with my kids a lot. It's great to see them become adults, but it's also scary at the same time. So I have that. I have another son who will be taking driver's ed for the first time. Wow, time just flies. It just, it flies. So it's going to be a stressful year. That's what I know is coming. And, you know, life never throws you surprises. But um, it's it's good. It's a good life. And I, I, I do not have any regrets. So stitching, if these projects go into 2016 or I can't, I have to delay them. Fine, I just want to get those three projects done this year. The uh, Venetian Opulence, the Graduate, and the Birth Sample. I thought of joining a Round Robin. Um, Tara C. mentioned a Round Robin, and I, I've joined that group on Facebook. Not knowing what's going on with my shoulder, uh, what I have to do. I'll be evaluated here in a few weeks to figure out the plan. Um... But essentially, I need to get this. It's keeping me up at night. And when you're nursing a 10-month-old, he keeps you up at night. And then you have a shoulder keep you up at night. Sleep. I don't know when it became my enemy, but oh, it's been a while. Um, I want my stitching to encourage me and to be fun. It's something I look forward to doing. So if these other things have to go the wayside, so be it. But um, that all being said and done, if I don't do another video between now and, and New Year's, I want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful New Year. Um, hopefully you can spend some time with family and unwind this time of year. It gets too busy as it is. But my Christmas gift to you is this. Yes, I have given birth to everyone in this picture. And those of you who follow my son Josh, Sword of a Mitcher, there he is. He's the oldest of everybody. But there's my crew. And they're all worth it. Even the sleepless nights. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Maybe you can get some stitching done. Maybe not. But don't stress about it. Okay. I have to reiterate some things that Carolyn uh, from Australia, Zayo, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, 
she said in one of her videos that she's been cross stitching for 20 some years and thought she knew everything about stitching and then she found floss tube and realized she didn't know that much. Ditto. I, I thought I knew everything and I've learned so much. And she also said in one of her videos that she's been so encouraged to be part of this floss tube community. And I have been too. I, I really look forward to watching your videos. I look forward to making these videos and just really talking about cross stitching. It's a lot of fun. So I'm glad I found that this year and I look forward to seeing everybody in 2016. I mentioned my last video. I am on Instagram now. Um, Mon.stitches is my moniker on Instagram. If you are on Instagram and I haven't followed you, you can put something in the comment below whether or not you make videos on floss too. Say, hey, I'm on Instagram too, and, and put your, your moniker on there. I'm, I'm figuring out mon er, Instagram, but it's a learning curve, as if I don't have any other thing to worry about. But um, then I can, can track you down, so to speak, and follow you. I like seeing the progress on Instagram from various projects and various stitchers. It's always fun to see what's out there. So until, well, until next time, whether it's 2000, did I say 2016? Oh my. Okay, 2015. <laughs> I don't want to lose a whole year. Um, if it's 2014 that I make another video or 2015, I hope you have a blessed end of the year, start of your year, and I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. I did want to mention I love your comments and I want to respond. But for some strange reason, my laptop doesn't let me reply on comments. And when I'm trying to watch somebody's video on my laptop and I want to make a comment, sometimes it lets me and sometimes it doesn't. Usually it doesn't. So then I wait for my husband's computer to be available and get on there. But then sometimes YouTube won't let me reply to a comment. <laughs> this computer stuff. Sometimes it's very frustrating. So if I haven't replied to your comment, please don't don't think it's anything. It's all technology gizmos and gremlins. Um, but my laptop, I'm nursing this laptop because I don't want to have to jump to another laptop. I've done that too many times. I mean, I have 10 years of homeschooling stuff. I've been homeschooling for 18 years now, but 10 years I've been using my laptop as my record keeping system and oh, it's a nightmare when you have to switch systems. Yes, I do have an external drive backup stuff, but oh, I'm not looking forward to the day I have to get a new laptop and switch everything over. Ugh. But if I haven't replied to your comment, it's not. Not because I don't want to. It's my computer. It doesn't want to let me. <laughs> But, again, if you're on Instagram and I haven't followed you, please put your information below. Um, I like seeing your progress. And for, like, the fifth time, have a very blessed rest of 2014 and go into 2015 and have a wonderful, wonderful year. Thank you.